Welcome back race fans to another round of the Max Racing Series. This time it's round four coming to you from Bedford, Indiana. This weekend we bring you the miracle trail races. 100% of the gate fees will go to benefit Riley Hospital for Children. This race report is brought to you by Obermeyer Yamaha. Visit Obermeyer Yamaha in Jasper, Indiana for all your Yamaha dirt bike, ATV, side-by-side, -side, personal watercraft, and star motorcycle needs. Stop by the showroom or visit them online at obyamaha.com. Well, the weather this weekend looked promising coming into Sunday's racing action as the youth bikes took to the track. 46 of the riders in all split the three classes and took off early as we find once again your points leader in the super mini class, Austin Lee jumping out in front with Mike Mikowski keeping him in check for most of the race. Those two battles to maintain position, meanwhile, Jaden Smith out of Greensburg, Indiana, will trail in third. Now by the end of the race, it would be Austin Lee extending his point lead, with Koski bringing home second, and it would be Jaden Smith getting third and final podium position. In the 85cc class, Eric Douglas takes the win, and a nice fourth place overall for him. As for Tate Reddit and Jacob Klein, they will finish out the podium in that class. Moving on to the 65 cc's, Caleb Hagan out of Tompkinsville, Kentucky, will take the win in his class. He'll finish 11th overall, while Langdon Feltner and Cameron Lee grab the second and third place finish for the 65 cc. Moving on to the youth quad division, track conditions continue to improve as the day progressed. The youth quads were ready to pop the clutch and take a turn at the five mile course ahead of them. 25 quads lined up for the start of the second round of action for the day, and then it was on. The first story of the day, Charlie Welch. After his huge second place overall finish last week in the Indy 100 GNCC, he would find himself out in front and looking for the win. But after one lap in, Welch finds himself with problems and had to finish the day early. In the 13 to 15 300 cc class, Cole Setzer, Lee Smith, and Thomas Hufford all clashed for the win. Smith checked in on lap six in the lead, but as the checkers flew on lap seven, it would be the Yamaha of Thomas Hufford taking the win. Lee Smith would finish with a hard fought second, Setzer taking the final podium spot. Tyler Weltich would take the win in the 90cc stock, Sadie Welch with another solid overall finish and the win in the 70cc class. Meanwhile, Silverthorne out of Cutler, Indiana takes the win in the 90cc production. Continuing on as the youth quads filed in to finish their day, the clouds moved in a none too familiar sight and then the rain. Turning the hard packed slick track into yet another mud fest here on the Midwest Tour. Now, after the rains let up, over 160 adult bikes lined up to take on a 10 mile course that would prove to be too much for some racers. However, Chris Bach, Jeff Craig, and Steven Squire took to the course, putting in solid 20 minute lap times. Bach would take the win with five laps in one hour and 42 minutes on the clock. Craig coming across the line just 30 seconds behind Bach. Steven Squire holding on to the third place finish. Now, Steven Squire finishing up his race after spending 40 minutes on the track with a rear flat tire. Nice job to Squire. Meanwhile, Nathan Sullivan and Duel Murphy round out the top five in the overall. We'll move on to the open class, open A. It would be Zach Love taking the win on his KTM after snagging the lead from second place finisher Anthony Wagner. Wagner would take eighth overall, followed by Derek Veeling on his Honda, Matt Sims rounding out the top 10 overall. As the track was being swept and the adult quads ready themselves, the reins held back just long enough to get the whole shots underway. This time it was over 100 quads lined up and the whole shots were intense. Ackerman jumped out to an early lead with Parker Jones following close behind. The leaders checked in for one lap, just under 22 minutes, and the lap times would continue to quicken as the racing went on. Then, would you believe, the clouds went away, the sun came out, and the racing action was on. Five laps later, one hour and 48 minutes on the clock, Ackerman would take the win with Jones coming across the line just 53 seconds later, 
to claim second place. Now, how about Dwayne Tuttle out of Martinsville, Indiana? He would take third place overall, and the win in the plus 30B class, Jake Stonebreaker and Richard Mach would round out the top five overall. Well, that'll wrap things up for this week's Obermeyer Yamaha Race Report. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, Maxxis Tire, Western Power Sports, Fly Racing, Bling Star, Spider Graphics, TNT Motorsports, Park Motorsports, Indy Moto, Obermeyer Yamaha, and Jet Suspension. Check out official race results as well as up-and-coming events on our website at www.themax.com. Join us next time as we visit Lincoln Trail Motorsports in Casey, Illinois on June 4th and 5th for the Obermeyer Mid-America Challenge. See you then.